Hello and welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. I'm Trevor Lewis. This is a video about X Design, and today we're going to be talking about Revolve. This is a Revolve right here. Revolve is one of our four methods that we're going to learn about how to make 3D objects from flat shapes. The way I explain it to my students is, you know you want to use a Revolve if you could slice it like a cake. And then every time you made that cake slicing motion, you ended up with the same cross section and that was made with a revolve. So here's an example. Um, it's not always easy to know how to make something like this, what profiles to draw and what axis to use, but those are the two things you need. Let me back this up. So that shape was made by using this profile, which I drew in a sketch, and then this axis, which is in a separate sketch. So I got sketch one and sketch two here. Um, to do a revolve, you're gonna choose revolve here and it's got a little picture of what a revolve looks like. And then when that pops open, um, I think this is the opposite of the way that it in, in SolidWorks, but the revolve axis is first. So what axis do I want to revolve around? And this can be pretty much any straight line. An axis is an imaginary line that everything is, is moving around. So if I use this line, I'll get that shape I had before. But let's use a different line. I can use this line in this sketch. It doesn't have to be a separate line from a separate sketch. And then what profile, what enclosed shape do I want to revolve? So I'm gonna, I am only have one enclosed shape right now, so I'm going to use that one. So I can choose Selected Profiles, and I'm going to choose that one. And it will revolve instantly. You can see there's no hole in the middle this time, and that's because I chose an axis that is touching my profile. Um, that's my op Right now I'm set to fully revolve, so I go around the whole time. But I can also choose Blind. And then I can choose how many degrees I want to go. So basically, how much of the cake do you want? Um, if if it's 360 degrees, that's all the way around. Right now it's set to 45, but you can see I can make it bigger and it can snap to places even. And I can reverse it so it goes the other way. There are other options when you're making solids, uh, like to make it thin or to... Uh, create a surface instead. We don't want to do these surface ones because those will not be 3D printable. Um, if you're going to do that, you have to stitch the surfaces back together at some point. Uh, let's do a thin example, though. I'm going to hit the check mark. So you can see it's sort of like a shell. Okay. So you got to be a little bit careful using that one as well. But you can see that's how we're going to get that shape for Revolve. It can be any shape. It doesn't have to be a shape like this. It could just be a simple shape. So if I just draw a hexagon and I'll put that. Um, you do need the axis to be in the same plane, I think. I'm trying to think of what would happen if you tried to put it in a different plane, but I, I'm pretty sure it's got to be in the same plane. I'm going to make my hexagon over here. And hit the check mark. And then I can revolve that around this axis or any of these axes that it has right on top of it. It's sort of like the circular pattern tool, except for instead of making copies of objects around that axis, you're going to uh, make a new object by revolving around an axis a certain shape. And then you can make your options about whether you want it to be thin whether you want to add a new one. Um, you can even have it go up two things. So that's kind of nice. So if you want to revolve and then stop when you hit a surface, that may be a way to go. That's the revolve tool.